our group topic is about corns in vegetative propagation. So before we start, I will introduce you what is comb. Comb is a rounded underground storage organ present in plants such as crocuses, gladioli, and cyclamens, consisting of swollen stem base covered with scale leaves. As you can see in the screen, this is the example of combs. Moving to the next slide. Since our group topic is about combs in vegetative propagation, this is the type of plant we choose to propagation. Clocasia esculenta. Moving to the next slide. Combs reproduction is an asexual reproduction. A sexual reproduction doesn't involve any sex cell and fertilization, which means only a single organism produces a new individual and new plant arises from objective parts. So, there is no spore or no need formation, and new offspring produced by mitosis and genetically identical to his parents. There is an advantages and disadvantages of a sexual reproduction. The advantages of a sexual reproduction are it is using only a single parent to generate new offspring. Secondly, it can produce a large number of offspring and can be produced in a short time. Not only that, the new offspring are genetically identical to his parent and don't need a pollinator agent. The disadvantages of his sexual reproduction are all offspring are identical to parent, there's no quality improvement. Next, the organisms are unable to adapt to changing conditions. Furthermore, it is also susceptible to disease as no genetic variation. Finally, sexual reproduction is competing for food as they produce in colony. Next is vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is an asexual process in which new plants are grown from the old parts of another plant, like roots, shoots, leaves, and buds, without involving any reproductive organ. There are two types of vegetative propagation, which is natural and artificial. Natural propagation is a natural development of a new plant without human intervention, while artificial development of new plants by means of human intervention. Uh, naturally, naturally occurs in plant, while artificial occurs under the influence of man. The natural roles are to help avoid physical barriers in sexual reproduction, while artificial helps to maintain desirable characters over generation. Uh, some of the natural methods are roots, bulbs, tubers, suckers, rhizome, runners, plantlet, and also corn, while uh, artificial methods are budding, grafting, layering, cutting, and tissue culture. Now, the examples of natural is garlic, taro, and banana, while artificial is rubber, roses, and bougainvillea. Natural vegetative propagation. Combs also have a short stem, but in this case, it is the stem itself which swells and store foods. The secular leaf form only papery scale. As with bulbs, the terminal bud grows into a flowering shoot and the lateral buds produce new plants. As we can see in this video, this is called as cob. First, we have to differentiate between the upper and lower of the cob. Here we can see the little nodules and little divots on one end of the comb that is actually the bottom and we need to orient it down in the soil. Next, I remove the upper stem which is the old stem. Then, we have to identify the upper part of the comb. So, how can we identify it? since we saw the old stem were cut so basically that is the upper part but if it is already cut for example, one that bought from store, we can identify the upper part by looking for the concentric circle, which we need to orient it face up. So for the soil, I use regular potting soil. Then, I started to cover the top of the comb with the soil, where the comb should be placed between 2 till 3 inches below the soil level. For your information, these plants are tropical plants. They come from high humidity and very warm climates. When we start to see growth or shoot, we have to put it in the right location so the leaf will start to unfold. This is the result of the comb that has been planted for weeks. Next. We are moving to the structure of comb. As we can see, this is a picture of a comb where there is a cortex, medulla, tunic, and a basal flap. Combs have a fibrous covering known as a tunic, and the roots emerge from a smooth area at the base known as the basal flap. Combs store starch to fuel growth and to help plants survive unfavorable conditions. 
and many produce offshoots known as daughter combs or comb males that are used for vegetative reproduction. Now, we are going to see the differences between bulbs and combs. Typically, there are 11 differences that I have listed here, but I'm only going to explain just the three of them. The first one, we have morphological features. Bulbs are structurally short stems with fleshy leaves or leaf bases. Meanwhile, combs are rounded underground storage organs consisting of a swollen stem base covered with scale leaves. Then, the types. Then, the types. The types for bulbs are modified leaves that store nutrients, while combs are swollen stem bases. Then the third one, which is features. Bulbs comprise scales which are the modified leaves, and combs comprise smooth modified stem. And for the rest, you can see it for yourself.